Welcome to Board Game Casual. Today, I'm doing a quick review of a game I played for the first time this weekend, Moon River. Moon River is a successor to the very popular game, King Domino. It builds on that core architecture, uh, making a much meatier game, a little more complex, and with more player interaction. As an aside, I think the name of the game does it a bit of a disservice. There's no moon in this game, nor is there a river. And I don't really get what the name has to do with the theme of cattle ranching, nor the domino-like mechanics. So I'm a bit puzzled by the decision, and it gets kind of jumbled up in the other games with similar titles. That said, this is a really fun game. Just like King Domino, I really like this drafting mechanism, where the tile you choose not only determines which tile you get, but also your order in the next draft. So you have this choice of going for a really good tile, but maybe being last to draft in the next round, or maybe going for a more okay tile, knowing that in the next round, you'll get to pick first. The big difference from King Domino is that rather than drafting complete two-sided domino tiles, you are drafting halves of the domino. Each tile has a puzzle piece edge designed to mate two halves together, forming your domino tile that can then be placed in your tableau, just like in King Domino. So in this game, you're thinking about not only the tiles that you're drafting, but then also how best to put them together in order to be placed in your 5x5 five five grid. Like in King Domino, tiles must be placed next to a similar terrain. The bigger your connected terrains are, the more points you score at the end of the game. However, another big difference in Moon River from King Domino is that some of your tiles will acquire cows. In this game, you're playing as cattle ranchers, and every tile with at least one cow on it within a given terrain will act as a multiplier to the size of the terrain at the end of the game. Furthermore, there are tile icons that have a chance for scoring, like corn, gold, and beavers, and tiles that allow you to take a worker token that give you special abilities or different scoring capabilities. On top of that, this game comes with a bunch of additional player boards that give you more variability from game to game. I only had the chance to play on the standard board. Let's talk about what I like most about the game. As I mentioned, I really like the drafting mechanic. It's a King Domino staple and shines in Moon River as well. I really like the choices you have in this game. The simple little difference where you're choosing which two halves to put together to form your tile really adds to the depth of this game. It feels like you have more control over your strategy and what you're trying to do. I really like that there are so many tiles that give you stuff. I love that feeling of getting a tile that gives you a cow or allows you to grab one of those worker tokens, or even getting the tiles with the additional scoring ability. Here's what I like least about the game. This game does have some take that. For some, this is probably a selling point, especially if you like King Domino but wanted more player interaction. For me personally, I'm not a big fan of take that especially targeted take that, you know, choose a player and take one of their cows, as opposed to something like all other players lose one cow. I feel guilty to even choose a take that action, and when I do, I just feel bad about it for the rest of the game. But hey, that's just me. There are also a few tiles, the skull tiles, that have a negative impact. They aren't devastating, just the possibility of losing a cow. And there's usually a way to mitigate it so that you don't. But they feel like a hurdle that are annoying to work through, especially if you're looking across the table and see people progressing. Lastly, this is one of those games where during the last few turns, it can bog down a bit due to the urge to math things out. If I take this action that gives me another cow, it'll net me six more points at the end of the game. But if I do this other action, it'll net me four points, but also take away three points from this other player, you know, etc, etc. Players who can math these options out in their head fast will be in an advantage. Players who can't risk slowing the game down, or in order to keep things moving, may just make a decision that, you know, if this feels right, which means at the end of the game, they might have some regrets, like, ah, if I only took the time to math it out, I could have had this option that would have scored me three points, you know, that kind of thing. Of course, there are a lot of games like this, but compared to King Domino, which has much fewer choices, it's a lot more pronounced in Moon River. All right, comparing Moon River to King Domino. If you like King Domino or Queen Domino, I think you'll like Moon River. It feels very mechanically familiar with an additional dimension for scoring and a bit more agency and decisions to make. 
It may feel slower to King Domino because it will take at least two turns of drafting pieces before you get to put them together and place them. Typically, you're collecting to your max limit of four tiles before you figure out how to pair and place them. If you've never played King Domino or Queen Domino, you could certainly jump into Moon River directly. It's a little more complex, but still learnable. But it's a lot faster for anyone who's already familiar with how King Domino works. I'd also say that if you haven't played either, trying King Domino first will certainly give you an idea if you'd like this one. As I mentioned, this game does have Take That, so if you're sensitive to Take That, be careful about this game. All that said, for me personally, at this point, I would rather play Moon River to King Domino. Comparing Moon River to Cascadia, a totally unrelated tile laying game. One of the reasons I prefer Cascadia to King Domino is that you're not bound to a 5x5 five five grid. In Cascadia, you make your tableau as long or as tall as you want. There are no boundaries in either direction, and you have a lot more freedom. Moon River, of course, has the same confines as King Domino, so sometimes placing your tiles can be a bit agonizing. Cascadia is similar to Moon River in that you score not only the terrain tiles, but also what's on top of them. So if you like thinking in those two dimensions, you might like Moon River as well. Of course, as I mentioned, Moon River has Take That, Cascadia does not. One of the main reasons I wanted to make this comparison, though, you know that feeling when you get the terrain tile in Cascadia that has the bonus leaf token on it? If you like that, Moon River has that in spades. There are a lot of those types of tiles and a lot of different bonus types. And my favorite part about Moon River is getting and placing those tiles that give you stuff. It's so fun. Final thoughts on Moon River. I really enjoyed my play of this game, and I like the game a lot. I found myself thinking about it a lot after playing it. I'm not sure if this is a game I would buy for myself. I don't see it as a game I'd use to introduce new players to, and I'm lucky my good buddy already owns a copy. That said, I would gladly play this again, and I look forward to playing it more. In terms of scoring, I'm giving it an 8. That feels about right, because I think I rated King Domino a 7.5, and I like Moon River better. It's possible that over time it could drop a little as I get in more plays. I'm still not sure how I feel about the whole cattle moving aspect. Felt like a bit of a bummer to have to take that action instead of using the bonus worker side, but I really need more plays to see. For now, I had such a good time playing it, I'm giving it an 8. If you've played Moon River, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks for watching, thanks for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you next time here on Board Game Casual.